Hi, I'm going to show you a new uh, program I'm working on. This is called the Little Dirty Password Generator. And uh, for this project, I have, I'm have i doing the development in Visual Studios 2008 Express. And uh, I'm also using a handy little program called Re Res Edit. Res Edit. And uh, so uh, in Visual Studio 2008 Express, you don't have a, a resource editor. So actually what you can do is you can use this other program. And see, it looks exactly like Visual Studios, only it's actually a separate program. It's, uh, here it is. About menu. So basically what you do is you just go open with, and then you... Uh, you can add the where the executable is to the actual program for reset it and then you just set it as default so now when I click it it automatically opens so I have a couple of tabs here there's the about that's the main and here's some options and what this program does is uh, you basically take information about say yourself or somebody if you know their birthday and certain using certain keywords and stuff this program can generate passwords uh, now the program's not finished right now I just decided to show you a sneak peek at uh, the source code uh, before the program's released why not get some views before the program even exists uh, it's programmed in Win32 API uh, using C++ and um, I've had a, a little bit of a idea here to program uh, object oriented style so as you can see like it's uh, object or oriented uh, there's the handler class and anyways now I'll just actually uh, run this program even though it doesn't actually work I'm just going to show you the options there's the about menu, password generator created by Dan Roy that's me the author options Okay, here's the options menu which uses a uh, tab. So first we have word list and you can choose uh, to have no words or you can click custom and this is where you add words. So say you uh, add words for the name of a band for example add etc. Say if you know information about a certain person, say you know their birthday, 1969, or say it might just be 1969. Uh, and then we can choose to have how many words we want to choose if we want to just use one word or two words or a range, and then also separators. Uh, we can also uh, specify the case case sensitive, lowercase, uppercase, proper case. Uh, we can also choose words from a list of files. And uh, that's actually interesting because we can actually save our list and then reopen our list and further customize it. Uh, and some of these tab menus will be actually changed in the future. Uh, they'll be added to, etc. Uh, this is a list of uh, separators that will separate the word. You can have none, which would isn't the same thing as not having any because none, when checked with another box, will uh, randomly choose. Some will have none and some will be uh, underscore. This is a dash. That's a dot. You can also specify a custom separator, and uh, this this will change in the future, but uh, we'll have prefixes and, and suffixes. Characters, we can choose from uh, numbers, letters, hexadecimal. We can choose uh, lowercase, uppercase, both. We can specify cust uh, symbols, and we can customize those symbols. Uh, and also use a range and then file settings we specify uh, what to save the file as and uh, we can set a limit for the lips the list size or we can actually just go with the variable list size and uh, that's basically it and this program will be done fairly soon, maybe a month at the most, but I just decided to make this video just to give an introduction to uh, the little dirty password generator and its uses. Thank you very much.